Hello everybody, and a very warm welcome to LMT YouTube channel. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle reveal how son Archie loves birds and dad's bird sounds. Prince Harry and Meghan, Duchess of Sussex, are truly making the best of life in quarantine. The famous royal couple, who decided to step down as senior royals in January 2020, recently moved into a private home in a secluded Santa Barbara neighborhood. The couple is still involved in philanthropy and special projects, but now it's all on their own terms. Harry and Meghan's most pressing goal right now, however, is ensuring their young son, Archie Harrison, has the best possible childhood experience. Royal fans love getting all the Archie updates via interviews. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex just revealed another great tidbit about their son, and this time it's all about birds. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle want Archie to have a normal childhood. Becoming parents was a huge motivation for Harry and Meghan to make their shocking break from the royal family. The public obsession with the couple reached a fever pitch when they welcomed baby Archie in May 2019. Despite trying to maintain their privacy, the Sussexes faced constant scrutiny and criticism. They found that treatment even less acceptable after they had Archie's welfare to think of. Their new life in Monte Cito is a lot quieter and more private. With gated driveways, tall hedges, and committed security teams, not to mention movie star neighbors who already set a precedent, the Sussexes are getting a totally different experience in the United States. And that's precisely what they want for Archie. Archie Harrison is walking and loves bird noises. A lot transpired since the Sussexes uprooted their lives and moved away from the royal life. Now that Archie is almost 18 months old, he's apparently running all over the house, much to the delight of his parents. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex recently explained how much their son enjoyed birds and bird noises. During an interview with Teenager Therapy, Prince Harry was overheard saying to Archie, I can make bird noises if you want. Meghan confirmed they use this tactic often. She said, He loves birds. Archie loves birds. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are happy to see their son growing up. They say the silver lining of quarantine living is getting to witness all their son's milestones. Prince Harry said during the podcast interview, We were both there for his first steps, his first run, his first fall, his first everything. Meghan agreed. It's just fantastic, because I think in so many ways, we are fortunate to be able to have this time to watch him grow, and in the absence of COVID, we would be traveling and working more externally, and we'd miss a lot of those moments. It's been a lot of really good family time, she told UK Evening Standard. We are very lucky with our little one. He is just so busy, he is all over the place. He keeps us on our toes. We are just so lucky. Another analysis. Why Princess Diana banned William and Harry's nanny from contacting them. Princess Diana was a victim of press intrusion to the point that she, arguably, perished because the paparazzi just wouldn't leave her alone. It stands to reason that protecting sons William and Harry was paramount to her. The princes have continued to pay tribute to their late mother throughout their adult lives, culminating in the building of a statue in her honor which, they confirmed in a joint statement in August 2020, will be unveiled on what would have been her 60th birthday. The statue is due to be installed in the sunken garden of Kensington Palace on July 1, 2021. An official statement from the palace advised, the princes hope that the statue will help all those who visit Kensington Palace to reflect on their mother's life and her legacy. A new tell-all book showcases just how much Princess Diana did for her sons, even cutting people out of their lives she deemed to have had a negative influence. Barbara Barnes raised William and Harry as her own. 
Tackler reports that a new book from royal historian Robert Lacey, entitled Battle of Brothers, details how Diana fired the boy's nanny, Barbara Baba Barnes, due to her reportedly being too possessive with them. Barnes wasn't even allowed to say goodbye to William and Harry, so far as the boys were concerned, she just vanished into thin air. Barnes was reportedly hired immediately after William's birth, but Diana was struggling with her own personal issues at the time, and the nanny had to take the leg. According to a source within Kensington Palace staff, Barnes guarded the nursery floor like the Vatican. It was her kingdom. As Diana's life got increasingly busier, the nanny grew ever closer to the boys, to the extent she became almost a surrogate mother. She even taught them to walk, talk, and read. William and Harry's nanny became too involved. Tapler advises suspicions were raised when Barnes began taking the boys away on their own family vacations without their parents. Then, when she was captured by paparazzi partying in the Caribbean with the likes of Raquel Welch and Princess Margaret, Diana started to feel as though Barnes had got above herself. The nanny was subsequently informed that it would be best if she left her post. A former housekeeper recalled, One weekend, she just wasn't there anymore. No one saw her again. Barnes was forbidden from even writing to William and Harry once their mother gave the order for her to leave the family home. As a result, Lacey draws a direct comparison between the abrupt end of the prince's relationship with their beloved nanny and the reaction they later had to Princess Diana's death. As Lacey notes, the brothers had a little practice with loss at that stage. Another report. The truth about the Emma Watson and Prince Harry rumors. Emma Watson is one of a kind. Not only is she a respected actress, but Watson is also an activist, launching the He for She campaign alongside United Nations Secretary General Ban Ki-moon to promote gender equality worldwide. In addition to her roles in Harry Potter and Little Women, Watson portrayed Princess Belle in Disney's live-action Beauty and the Beast. Watson is a figure who knows what it's like to grow up in the spotlight, all while maintaining her poise in class. For all these reasons and then some, it makes sense that Watson would hit it off with Prince Harry. Harry has also lived with public scrutiny for most of his life, even if he hasn't always been as poised as Watson. You'd have to be living under a rock on the moon to not know that Harry has been married to Meghan Markle since 2018, but you may not have heard that in 2015, In Touch Weekly reported that Harry and Watson were dating. At the time, the publication reported, he's smitten, and it's more than Emma's looks. So, what is the truth? Was Watson almost the Duchess of Sussex? Emma Watson reminded fans not to believe everything they read. Unfortunately for anyone who may have been rooting for these two, it seems that this was more wishful thinking than a rumor with any truth to it. Following the emergence of this story, Emma Watson took to Twitter to slyly shut down the rumor that she was romantically entangled with Prince Harry. The then 24-year-old actress tweeted, Remember that little talk we had about not believing everything written in the media? Watson shared a second tweet, writing, Also, marrying a prince is not a prerequisite for being a princess. A scene from A Little Princess, directed by Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban director Alfonso Curran. The scene features the line, All girls are princesses. Even if they aren't pretty or smart or young, they're still princesses. Leave it to Watson to find a way to turn a false rumor about her love life into a way to uplift other women. Check out one of our newest videos right here, plus even more LMT videos about your favorite stuff. For coming soon subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.
Stop.